Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I'm going to make fire roasted sweet corn and black bean salad. It is very versatile, it's so easy to make, and it is delicious. Here we go. Okay, let's get the corn ready. I've got my corn on the cob, and I've got my ghee. You could also use butter. Butter would be just fine. I just have a storage challenge for butter, so ghee you don't have to refrigerate. So yeah, just smear it all over the corn, and then kind of rotate your corn around a little bit and then get all sides coated, and then just start rolling it up. It's not too difficult. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and seal the sides. There we go, all four of them are done. Now it's time to put them on the fire. Let's check this fire out. Is it going good enough yet? Well, it's going pretty good, And but I think I need to poke it a little bit. I want that top, piece of wood there, that nice big one to kind of burn a little bit more. You want some nice thick chunks of, of wood. I mean, I'm not all that great at building a fire, but I like to do it this way because I can put the grates over the top of the two logs and the, and the two logs won't burn right away. Um, you know, at least not while you're cooking. And then I'll just put a few more little sticks on just to get these bigger logs in the middle going, you know, and convert it to charcoal basically. There we go. I got my grates over the top and yeah it's okay if it's flaming a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my corn on right now. Yep put them all on there and uh, yeah just let them cook for a little while. You'll have to turn them a few times. It's not too difficult and um, yeah, so here's the ingredients. We're gonna use some mini peppers, multicolored mini peppers. They're sweet peppers. One large jalapeno pepper. We want black peppers, cilantro, salt, lime, garlic powder, cumin, black beans. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need. So I drain the black beans and I even rinse them with a little bit of water because I don't like that black stuff in it. Ah, there's my one large jalapeno pepper. Hopefully I don't spill it all over the place. Next are, I used, uh, let's see, two red ones, two yellow ones, and one orange one of the little sweet peppers. Let's get them in the pot without spilling them all over the place. Ah, the corn is done. That is exactly how you want it. It doesn't have to be charred on all sides, all the way around, just a little bit. So yeah, that is definitely how it's supposed to be. It tastes so good like this. And then basically, you just cut the corn off the sides of the cob. Got three more to go. All right, those are all done. Now we're just gonna mix it up, kind of break that corn up a little bit, just keep stirring. And then we're going to start adding our seasonings. First, we are going to add some black pepper. And I don't really measure. I just kind of put in however much I need. I'm thinking that's about maybe, oh, I don't know, half a teaspoon or so. But you can add however much you want. Alrighty, and the next one is going to be the cumin. And same with this. You know, I just sprinkle it on until I think it has enough. But you know, maybe a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, more if you like that really strong taste of cumin in it. It's very, very delicious with spicy dishes. I add it to practically everything, to be honest with you. All right, what's next? Let's add some salt. And I like to put my salt in a little tub like this because I like to pinch it with my fingers. Sometimes if you put it in a shaker, you just don't really have as much control and really you don't want to over salt things because you can't take it back out. So yeah, I'm just going to use a couple pinches, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe that was like a teaspoon at all, I'm not really sure. You just do it to your taste. All right, and then cilantro. And this is kind of a melancholy moment for me because this is the last of my homegrown cilantro that I have from last season. So I'm just gonna dump it all in there, stir it up. Oh, it makes me sad. I have no more fresh cilantro. Oh well, that's all right. And then you wanna get a lime or two limes or however many you think you need. These are pretty small. I'm gonna start with one, just roll it around uh, on something to kind of help release the juices. Cut it in half 
and then just squeeze all the juice into it. This lime is going to give it a really, really nice tang. I can't wait to see what it tastes like when it's all done. There we go. We got another half of a lemon we're going to add to it. Just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Right on. And now we're just going to kind of kind of stir it around. Make sure everything's all mixed and all the little pieces of corn are chopped up and separated. And it's looking beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. And it smells so, so good. You have no idea how good this smells. Okay, that's really good. It may need some more lime, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in a container and put it in my uh, ice chest and let all the flavors kind of, you know, blend overnight. And I'll taste it tomorrow. If we need more lime, I've got plenty more lime. And I'll let you know that the next day when I went to taste it, I did end up adding another whole lime the juice of another whole lime to it and that made it perfect so really two small limes or maybe one extra large jumbo lime and then you're good to go it's delicious don't eat it betty i gotta go in the van you better not eat it all right and just so you know betty was a good girl i came back out of the van and she had not eaten it and like I said before, this is a very versatile salad. You can eat it just as is, as a side dish. You could have it with scrambled eggs or even in an omelet. You could pile it on top of a thick, juicy steak. Or you can add it to soup or rice. Here I've made spicy steak and rice soup and oh my goodness, it is so tasty. So like I said, there's a ton of different ways you can use this wonderful salad, so I really hope you'll try making it yourself. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.